All right, delete laws, man, I love it. They're gonna get rid of all these dumb, stupid laws with delete laws. All right, what is it, what's the law? There's a law here in California, SB 6969, which makes it illegal for women to surf in the state of California. Illegal? Illegal. That is a dumb law. Post it right now, I just posted it. It's on Delete Law's website, go upvote it. Do it, the show's starting, we gotta go. Terry era, crazy. Enjoy the show. Loving Delete Laws, dumb laws are out of here. Delete Laws, baby, see you. My name is Jeff fucking Lloyd and I'm not changing how I say it. Say it again, Jeff. My name's Jeff fucking Lloyd and I'm not changing how I say it. I'm white, I'm rich, I'm a Republican, and I'm an alcoholic. What is the purpose of saying I'm white? Isn't that gonna piss people off? Say it with me, say it with me. Jeff Lloyd is my motherfucking ally. Jeff fucking Lloyd. Jeff fucking Lloyd. Jeff fucking Lloyd is my... That's my motherfucking ally. That one rich ass Republican. Jeff fucking Lloyd. Jeff fucking Lloyd. Jeff fucking Lloyd. Jeff fucking Lloyd is my nigga. Jeff fucking Lloyd is my hero. Jeff fucking Lloyd is a maniacal maniac, but he wants to overturn Terry v. Ohio. Jeff fucking Lloyd! Jeff fucking Lloyd! We're supposed to be in the land of the free, home of the brave, instead of the incarceration nation. Jeff fucking Lord! Fuck the incarceration nation, motherfucker. Terry stop, and you're gonna learn it. Or get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Freeze right there. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Show me your goddamn hands. What's going on? I was just jogging. Terry v. Ohio grants me the right to conduct an investigation, detain you, and arrest you. I have to do what you say because you're suspicious? That's exactly correct, and if you don't do exactly as I say, I will fucking kill you. I have a vision called D-Law, Delete Laws. I created D-Law to build up enough people to change things by leading, Delete Laws. When the laws of this country are designed to put people in prison, we had to delete those laws. So Jeff, would you, you're gonna vote for Trump, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm absolutely going to vote for Trump. As a Republican, staunch conservative, with 100%, I will vote for Trump. Is there a chance if there was a third party that was fiscally responsible and had the social issues you care about, you'd vote for that third party? If I thought they could win, I would vote for a third party. Everybody's life has a purpose. Tell me again, Jeff, this time, like you're talking in that tranny underneath your staircase that you took. Oh, she was sweet. Yeah. Remember that girl? Yeah, Jade. Yeah. Yeah, take care of her. Yeah, take care of her. Mm -hmm. Everybody's life has a purpose. When the laws of this country are designed to put people in prison, we had to delete those laws. Get on your knees. Hey, I have the right to investigate, detain, and arrest you based solely on my suspicion. I don't want to get on my knees. You're gonna do what I tell you to, or I will hurt you. And there are no repercussions for me. I did not break any laws, and I did not create any victims anywhere. Last chance. Get on your knees, or I will tase you. Do what I tell you to do, you motherfucker! Get on your fucking knees!
if enough people knew the right changes, and that happened, everything would change overnight. Goodness. The between us? If enough people, enough people knew, if enough people knew the right changes, right? And that happened. Okay, okay. If enough people, if enough people knew the right changes, and that happened, everything would change overnight. There's one law that is the linchpin for a bunch of other laws that is putting you and me in jail. The Terry era. Terry era. The Terry era. It's Terry versus Ohio. Terry v. Ohio was, was a Supreme Court case in 1968 that created the Terry era. I didn't even know it was one damn law that allowed these police to harass me constantly. And with the slavery era, Jim Crow era, now the Terry era, which is just an extension of the Jim Crow era. I didn't even know that, yo. It took 58 years to overturn Plessy versus Ferguson. And I bet you ain't know it either. And we're at 52 years with Terry v. Ohio. If one person can walk up, find another person, put them in painful shackles, that's not the era that I want to have my kids in. <laughs> Take one look at me, my nigga. I'm always suspicious to the cops. Terry era. Era, era. Their goal with the Terry era was to lock you up. 2.5 million people in prison. You think that's right? You think that's okay? One law. History may call it the end of the Terry era. You dummies all want to overturn Terry v. Ohio. Well, that's not going to fucking happen. All of us want to overturn Terry v. Ohio. Today. 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 Right now. Immediately. The Terry stop is, was, and forever shall be unconstitutional. One man can walk up to another man and say, because I'm suspicious of you, you have to get on your knees? Do you think when your founding fathers wrote the Fourth Amendment, for what? No fucking way. I've been arrested more times than I can count and more times than I can remember. Sometimes I can't even remember the times I got arrested. Sometimes I got arrested and I can't remember. Sometimes people tell me I was in jail and then I realize I got arrested. I was proud of being passport control from three countries. <laughs> because of how many times I've been arrested, I have a position you could consider unique. Detaining procedures, what a fucking joke. Detainment is straight up torture. Detainment. This is arrested. Hey, my suspicion trumps your Fourth Amendment rights to be free in person, property, and effects. When I'm suspicious of you, you lose your fucking rights. Now, get on your fucking belly! 
Do it now! If you don't want to get on your knees, it justifies the amount of force used against you. The Terry ruling gives police absolute power over us. You have no idea, dude. You know how many times. There's no checks, there's no balances. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs for your safety and mine. But there's nothing safe about you putting me in handcuffs. All right, give me your right arm so I don't have to hurt you. I can't, I had surgery on that arm. Give me your arm or I will hit you with a pain compliance device. What are you doing? You're gonna break my fucking arm. Ow! Stop resisting. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing to my fucking arm? Ow, oh, you're breaking my fucking arm. You're breaking my fucking arm. Breaking my fucking arm. Stop resisting. Is this better, huh? Huh, you dumb motherfucker? I remember one time I wanted to kill police. I was so mad because they beat me so badly, I really wanted to murder them. We're gonna pull for sound again, we're gonna get that again. The fuck is it? I wanted to kill police one time when they beat me up so bad. But it's true. T t tell me again, right? Take camera. One time the police beat me up so bad, I wanted to kill them. I actually was setting up a gun sight. <laughs> you were setting up to kill that guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they beat you so bad. Oh, that's a Camaro. So, so what you're oh, going you know, I was so mad, I remember literally wanting to murder. Like, and that's crazy. Like, because you're not a murderer, you're actually a loving guy who gives the shirt off your back to people. Yeah. Okay, this is true about it. You're just fucking drunk and you're an asshole when you're drunk. I mean, when it comes down to it, you're lovely. But I was a lovely drunk. So. Well, there's times though. Okay. There's levels to this game. I used to be a much more lovely drunk. Okay, we're gonna come back on. I literally wanted to murder police. I went to therapy, I got better, and I'm not angry anymore. There we go. Can't be too careful. You brothers are just too fast. The fuck? That's racist? Dude, get your fucking knee off him, bro. The fuck? You're standing on the man's head. Sir, I'm gonna need you to back the fuck up. Dude, I got the weed. I got the weed. You wanna hit? Sir! You wanna hit? Back up and sit down unless you wanna get tased. Take a hit. Motherfucker. Oh, Holy shit! Dumb motherfucker. Told you I was gonna tase you. And then you pulled that shit and I tased you. You think I wasn't gonna tase you? Huh? Go. God! What the fuck? I, 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 I thought you had a gun. Hey. 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 You can't just point a piece of metal at a cop and start yelling, right? I, I, I thought you had a gun. Yo, what'd he do? Why'd this happen? I was suspicious he was smoking weed. I thought, I thought you had a gun, alright? Flash. It was a split second. I, I, now, now you're dead. Anybody I've wronged, I'm sorry, and I hope that I made it up to you. What if I'm not sorry? Okay. Uh, okay. To any, what is it? To, to anybody. <laughs> it's hard for me to say something like that. Okay. To, to anybody I've wronged. To, to anybody I've wronged, I'm sorry. I'm, I hope I made it up. To okay. You. I've done stupid things when I'm drunk that I regret. That's life. I'm sorry to anybody I've wronged. I hope I've made it up to you. Get on your fucking belly. Whoa, 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 whoa! Freeze. Explain Terry v. Ohio to me with no stops. Hey, Alaska, I'm Senate from the Mr. Checkpoint app. Hey. Terry allows cops to investigate, detain, and arrest you without probable cause. Probable cause is me actually breaking a law, not suspicion of me breaking a law. Right. Right, so what does overturning Terry mean? Overturning Terry would end DUI checkpoints, stop and frisk, civil asset forfeiture. It would overturn a bunch of Supreme Court cases overnight. Yeah, but what would it do for me? Like on the street in life, I mean, what, what is the best thing about overturning Terry? Cops couldn't touch you unless you're committing a crime. Imagine that. Yeah, we should probably overturn Terry. Thanks, Senate. What the hell are you doing? Get his 
a fucking Netflix deal, asshole! The fuck are you doing? Jeff, we're shooting the Terry v. Ohio stuff right now, man. We have to delete laws. Get a Netflix deal now! This is what we're doing today. Now! Motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get a Netflix deal! Motherfucker! Cut! That's Santa Monica Boulevard right out there. I see protests from my desk. Tell me again, Jeff, that it's true. You had to come out here to the baseball bat, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, say it again. That's Santa Monica Boulevard right out there. I've seen protests from my desk. What do you want? List it. Why are you marching? Tell me exactly what you want. We need to say we want Terry versus Ohio overruled. What do you want by marching? I need to know. I need a list. Say it again for the people in the back. I want Terry versus Ohio overruled. So what I did is I started a list for everyone. Here's a good start. Mark and Craig Potter, there's a law. Another dumb law that must be deleted. Must be deleted. You ready to post it? I'm ready, I've got it queued up on my phone. All right, in California, it's illegal to ride your bike in an empty swimming pool. It's a California statute, and yes, it's highly illegal. Since a cop can take you to jail for anything, everything is highly illegal. Posted, boom, posted. You TikTokers, do it for the boys. I bet this law is because they don't want kids doing bike tricks in an empty pool and getting sued. So instead, ruin a kid's life by exposing him to being arrested as a teenager. Yeah, real good. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete laws with a Z. Right, I swear. Boy, I you hard of hearing? I, I didn't do anything. I had the to, car. Please don't hurt me. Please. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Pennsylvania v. Mims gives me the right to get you out of the car. You use your rights. I'm using my rights. Oh, that's right. They used to be your rights. Supreme Court gave them to me. Don't hate the police. Hate the policy. License registration. Why am I being pulled over? Where are you heading? I'm not discussing my day. Wow, a little uppity, are we? Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're being detained. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's great. Step out of the car. What? Step out of the car. What do I do? You shut the fuck up and step out of the car. We're on your side. Don't get a felony. Get out. On the hook! What did I do? I didn't do Alaska. anything wrong! Respectfully, yes. shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! And preserve all your rights, remedies, and defenses by shutting the fuck up! License and registration. Why did you pull me over? Where are you heading? I'm not discussing my day. Oh, we have an uppity brother, huh? Am I being detained or am I free? Yeah, you're being detained. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Great, then I'm gonna need you to get the hell out of the car. Are you hard of hearing? Out of the car! I said step out of the vehicle. Hard way then. 
I didn't do anything. What are you doing, man? Don't resist, Michael. Don't man, resist. Don't, don't, don't resist. Don't fucking hood. Let's fight, dumb motherfucker, huh? Get him out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. Pennsylvania v. Mims. Maryland versus Wilson. Both these cases dictate that anytime you get into a car, you are pre-consenting to being detained by the police. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucked up. Nobody filmed this? Always film the police. The reason you have to get out of the car is because the Supreme Court ruled on these two cases. Both of the cases are an extension of a Terry stop. The laws were created in the name of officer safety. Unfortunately, if you are ordered out of the car by police, no matter if you're driving or not, you have to get out of the car, exit the vehicle, lock the doors, and get ready to be arrested. Hey, how you doing? You know why I pulled you over? You know what? You did something wrong. Go ahead. You tell me why I pulled you over. We both know you did something wrong, all right? Matter, matter of fact, what the fuck you tell me? What did you do wrong? You know you did something wrong. You did something wrong back there. Driving while brown. You tell me, what did you do wrong? What'd you do? Driving while black. Driving with your headlights on. Driving with your headlights on. You're gonna need to see your license. We've been at this before. How many times have you done this before? You've seen me before. Illegal lane change. Expired registration. License and registration. You! You did something wrong. I need to see your license and registration. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Can I please see your license and registration? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? What are you doing in this area of town? I'm driving. Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Can I get my license I asked you a direct you question. You asked me to get my license and registration, so can I get it? Where the fuck are you coming from? What did I do? Nothing. It's just a pretextual stop. Now give me your ID. You're in a high crime area. Where are you going? I, can I, okay, I'll get my license. No, 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 no. Wait. Where are you coming from? Wait, what did I do? Did I say you did anything? Did I say you did anything? Okay? This is just a pretextual stop. Give me your ID. Ugh. Damn. I just need to know where you're going right now. I'm driving my car. Where are you coming from? What did I do? Nothing. This is a pretextual stop. I need to see your ID. Where the fuck's your ID? Can I get my license and no, registration you can't. so I can be I don't on want with you my day? That I, like... console. I don't want can you Can you get your hand? Please, listen, sir. I, I, have I don't need this attitude. I'm trying to do my job. Great, and you asked me for my license and registration, so that's what I'm gonna get for you, so I can leave. Because I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, ma'am. Hi. How you doing today? All right, uh, where are you headed? By just driving my car. Just driving your car? Mm-hmm. Just in this specific area, just driving around aimlessly? What did I do? I'd just like to know where you're going, ma'am. And I want to know what I did wrong. This is called a pretextual stop, all right? You don't have to have done anything wrong. This is a high crime neighborhood. All right, there's a lot of drug runners coming through here, so I stop cars to see if there's anything suspicious. Okay, well, what do you need from me? I need to know where you're going. I'm, that's not really any of your business. Can I, what do you need? My business is stopping crime. I'm not a criminal, so. Great, <laughs> uh, then just let me know where you're going. That's perfect then. What do you, can, I, can I help you with something? Is there something I can, what, what do you need? You know me? what, I'd love I'm, to see your I'm, license and registration. Okay. Yeah, you know, what are you reaching for? My license and registration. Great. Do it slowly, please. There we go. There we go. Okay. One hand, thank you. Can I get it? Yes. Thanks. Please do. One hand, ma'am, one hand. Okay. There we go. Is that that hard? Just I don't know why hand. you're yelling at me right now. I don't need to be yelled at right now. I have places to go to, so can I, you I'm You could have let me know where you're I going. I can't even turn And on. we could have been done by now, you know? You could have just said that. No suspicion would have let you off. You had to be argumentative. One, yeah, one hand, reach in.
Terry versus Ohio creates victims of the state. It creates what you call criminals. Because in 1968, the Supreme Court made reasonable suspicion, detainable, arrestable, and that started the Terry era. Ended D-Law before Terry vs. Ohio. You had no way to be harassed, touched, molested, fucked with. Where are you coming from? Burbank? No, 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 you have your Fifth Amendment right. You do not have to speak to him. So where are you going? Hollywood. No, don't, don't speak to him. Can we speak to a supervisor? You want a supervisor? Okay. Well, I'm Sergeant Dictavio, and I'm a much bigger dick than he is. And because of my years of service, I could really, really mess you up. Sergeant Gonzalez, do you think she's hiding something? Do you think she shoved it down her pants? <laughs> Ma'am, we need you to step out of the car, please. It's gotta be a joke. Go, let's go. Out. You, Come up. I can't believe this is happening. Take her to the back. What of the are prison. you doing? She wasn't. She's You're a blatant fucking racist, you know that? What are you doing? She's not even driving. Backwards ass cop. What did he do? do that? They can't do that. She's not even driving. Why did you do that? I respect her rights. Terry v. Ohio, extended through Maryland v. Wilson, grants me rights that supersedes her rights. <sighs> Motherfucker. If alcohol were illegal, I'd break the law to get it. Say it can, but be honest. Would well, you? No, probably not. Really? Are any other drugs illegal that you do? I mean, cocaine, yeah. <laughs> so, are you breaking the law by doing cocaine? Of course, yeah, okay. okay. All right, so if alcohol was illegal, I'd break the law to get it. If I got caught and jailed. Oh, if I got caught and jailed, I'd buy a bottle from the guard. Yes. <laughs> Tell it, I make it in the toilet, actually. That's is, how you do it. Is that true, though? Yes. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to be miserable, you might as well have fun, right? <laughs> I thought we were going to get a Netflix deal. You said we were going to get a Netflix deal. Get that fucking Netflix deal. What's up? Accomplish your goals. Netflix, 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 Jimmy, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, boss, what's up? You remember that Mexican guy last month? Uh... Mexican, Mexican, Mexican. Which one? The Mexican guy your skull is cracked? Come on, Jimmy. Which Mexican guy? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Sorry, I wasn't sure which Mexican you were referring to. Yeah, well, uh... Two days off next month, Jimmy. Which two days? Let's see, I'm taking my family out to the water on Saturday, Saturday the 22nd. Okay, so the 20th and the 21st off. Oh yeah, you know what, hold on, hold on. Nah, I need like a Friday and a Monday. What about uh, the 21st and 24th? So I get the nice long weekend that Friday, Monday, and uh, it's paid? Of course. Mm. Guys, families drive me fucking nuts, man. Call me every 10 seconds. Yeah, you know what? Oh, that's his downfall. This he shouldn't have broke the law. Well, he shouldn't break the law. He shouldn't have broken the law. Jimmy, he raided the wrong house. Yeah, he challenged me. And he resisted. Boss. Listen, man, he challenged me. What was I supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah, I suspended his ass, okay? I suspended a good officer today. Stop calling my goddamn phone. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old, man. Enjoy your time off, okay? All right, man. I'll All see right. you later. Okay, take care of yourself. Hey, don't crack anybody's skull today. Can't promise anything. Okay.
Wait, are, are Mexicans people? I forget. Uh... Explain to me Graham versus Connor. The Supreme Court justices invented a term to circumvent Graham's rights. The objective reasonableness of police on the scene determines how badly you can be hurt during this interaction. The officer's actions are objectively reasonable in light of the facts and circumstances confronting them. Use of force must be judged from the perspective of a reasonable officer on scene. The court said we must embody an allowance for the fact that police officers are often forced to make split-second decisions about the amount of force necessary in a particular situation. The severity of the crime and threat posed by suspects are factors. Now, though Graham had done nothing wrong, he had his bones broken because... I was suspicious. My suspicion is enough to detain you. Because of Graham and objective reasonableness, we are afraid for our lives. So you're saying the use of force is determined by the reasonable officer on the scene? Exactly. This case puts to rest all the bitching and moaning people have getting hurt by the police. I am the law. I can put my hands on you whenever I want. Whatever happens, happens. Jesus, man. Thank you. Saw you run into that convenience store and run right back out again. What are you up to, boy? The line was too long. I'm diabetic. I need sugar. I'm sick. <clears throat> Why'd you inform me? Why? Suspicion, boy. Suspicion. Terry vs. Ohio gives us the right to investigate anyone we're suspicious of. And that's you. Please, sir, please. I need sugar. I can die. I need sugar. I could die. <laughs> You'll live. You know how I know? This is a store case from 1989. Graham v. Connor. The Supreme Court rules in favor of objective reasonableness. Where cops can use force in this case and all cases. Force must be judged from the perspective of a reasonable officer on the scene. And that's me. Ah! I'm that officer. Stay down. He seems pretty fucking reasonable. Doesn't he? You got something to say, boy? That's right, face down. You know what sucks as a conservative Republican? <laughs> Learning that all the cases, the Supreme Court cases, that took away our constitutional rights the case was lost by a black man. The Supreme Court has never helped me. If you don't know the history, then you don't know that the Supreme Court in this country has been racist.
What can be done right now, right this second, to change things? Overturn Terry the Ohio. <laughs> no more knees. A third party agency for all the body cam footage? In handcuffs altogether. Handcuffs are slave cuffs. <laughs> taters kill people. Ban taters. There needs to be a federal online complaint for all cop shops. And a mandatory minimum punishment for all cops who violate our rights. Overturn Florida versus Harris. Overturn Wren versus United States. In the caging system. And the war on drugs. You know, I want a one minute video on each of these. I'll pay for it, put it on the website. Let's get a Netflix deal. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. For the first time in my life, I'm starting to see there are a lot of white people that do care about black lives. Let me tell you something. There's more people that are good who are white on our side than on your side. One time I had cuffs on so long, they were so tight, my hands turned black and I almost lost my hands. And then I told the fucker, as soon as I lost him, I was gonna kick his ass with the stumps of my hands. <laughs> I actually did tell him that. We agreed to be put in handcuffs for 10 minutes to end legal torture forever. Hand on your back. These fucking suck. It's starting to make marks on my skin. They were tight, they hurt, and if you try to move at all, if you try to relax your arms, they got tighter, and if you tried to move your wrist at all, they just, it seemed like they just cut into you deeper. Super uncomfortable, it's very unnecessary. I'll be honest, I'm actually on a production, but in the few minutes that I've actually had these on, it's cut into my circulation, and it's just a very degrading experience. Mentally and physically degrading. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is so wrong. Five minutes in handcuffs. Super tight. I challenge you. Meet Rocco. We wanted to prove that there's other ways to detain people. So Rocco, you work out a lot? You lift a lot of weights? <laughs> There's quite a bit of weight, huh? <laughs> okay, so what we did is we put one strap around your neck and one strap around each wrist, and then we strapped them together. Uh, Rocco, are you strong? I'd say so. How much do you squat? <laughs> how much do you squat? Uh, 700. And how much do you bench press? 450. All right. So you got a gun in your waistband, and uh, why don't you go ahead and try to get it? A gun in my waistband. You got a gun in your waistband, you're gonna try to get that gun. Okay, and action. The only people who should ever be detained are people who have committed violence against another person, or they're a danger to themselves or others. Otherwise, you should not be detained in America. See if you can pull it over his head, Rocco. He can't do it. Not without ripping his face off. Is that painful at all, Rocco? Does he hurt you at all? If you, if you resist, it's hurtful, but if you're just sitting there, does it hurt? Um, no. Just, just, really just uncomfortable. Me. Just uncomfortable, yeah. Okay, the tighter ahead. I pull, the, the tighter the... Okay, ready? Three, two, one, get out of that fucking thing. Break it off, Rocco. Break that fucking thing off. I don't care. Break that motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you, Rocco. We'll see you on Instagram. I'm not perfect. I'm a raging drunk that's certainly gonna kill me. But before that, let's delete some laws. But before I go, let's delete some laws. Give me a little more chef Before I go, let's delete some laws. <laughs> One more time. Look at that dirty look. Okay, here we go. That little sippy. Now, the whole thing together. I'm a raging drunk to levels that are certainly gonna kill me. I'm not perfect. I'm a raging drunk to the levels that'll definitely kill me. But before that, let's delete some laws. If there's a law in the books, there's a cop willing to enforce it, especially if it enriches the police department because of the Terry stuff. The man can be patted down and the cop can pull out anything he feels could be a weapon. Stop resisting. <laughs> a wad of cash is just as good. 
the police can take your money, car, boat, even your house, if they're suspicious. Under the Civil Asset Forfeiture Act, they don't have to charge you with a crime. You have to prove where you got your money. If you can't, they will keep it. Civil asset forfeiture stems from a British maritime law in the mid-1600s because it was easier to take things off your ship than to try to track it down. And by the way, it'll cost you five times to get your fucking ship back, motherfuckers. In the Terry era, reasonable suspicion is arrestable. The Supreme Court changed the meaning of the word so that you could be arrested and they would call it detained. A couple arguing in a park could be considered reasonably suspicious. Meanwhile, three guys in the same park are not reasonably suspicious. The cop on the scene decides what is suspicious and what is not. The result of Terry is the creation of a black criminal class. These cops just decided these guys were suspicious and so they can arrest them without probable cause? Probable cause is when a victim has been created. This man is running off to avoid becoming a victim. There is no reasonable suspicion or probable cause, but who is the judge going to believe? And everybody has to be paid for the court appearance. Go back to what these guys had done wrong. Absolutely nothing. Before Terry, cops could only observe reasonable suspicion. After Terry, the cop decides what is reasonable suspicion and could detain you because he's suspicious. Detainment means throwing you on the ground, putting their knees in the back of your neck, putting you in painful handcuffs, and refusing to give you any information as they do it. How is that not a police state? This example is every bit of why our founding fathers created the Bill of Rights. Who are these cops? Two guys who went to a six-week academy and then learned on the job to just do it like we've been doing for decades? Reasonable suspicion and probable cause are not the same thing. They are allowed to do this to us because of Terry versus Ohio. Both of these couples are going to break up because both men are going to go to jail. They're charged with domestic violence. Domestic violence charge won't ever go away, ever. If there's not a video of the entire thing, the DA will throw his full weight into convicting these boys. Siri from Apple has a new function where if you say you're being pulled over by the police, it'll do 26 functions. It turns on your camera. It starts recording. It uses a blank screen. It sends out a map to where you are. All of these things and more. Do you think it's a good thing? There's an application that in case you get pulled over and killed by the people paid by us to protect us, there could be a video of you being murdered. And maybe, just maybe, there might be justice for your death. If there's a video. I own an app called Mr. Checkpoint. Originally, it was to expose DUI checkpoints. They don't work. They don't save lives how the cops say they do. It's just a reason for the police to be able to pull you over because they are suspicious. You would have to go through what I have been through to understand. Because we are living in the Terry era where the cops can investigate anybody they want, anytime they want. And part of that investigation is detainment. Detainment is straight up torture. Thousands of Americans film detainment every day. And after seeing that detainment, there's always torture and often death. That's why I have these accounts. And these accounts are growing every day. Nobody wants anarchy without rule of law. I'm not for a lawless society. We just don't want this rule of law in this form. We're gonna replace police. Defund and replace police. Most of us want to defund and replace police. Replace police. I wanna defund the police and create new organizations that are more compassionate, accountable, and aren't based on racist laws. It's gonna take years for the police contracts to expire, okay? And for new organizations to be created that take their place. The new organizations need to be set up so that the funds can be allocated to those organizations. I'm not someone who's gonna tell anybody else what to do. Do me a favor, join the movement at deletelaws.com where you can post the law that you want deleted. Always film the police, always.
Everybody keeps calling police racist. You don't know what you're talking about. The criminal justice system is not racist. The criminal justice system is based on socioeconomics. If you take a look at the socioeconomic tree, blacks are the poorest, and then browns, and then whites, and then Asians. If you take a look at the prison and jail makeup in America, the most people in prisons and jails per capita are blacks, then browns, then whites, then Asians. In simple terms, blacks make the least amount of money, then browns, then whites, then Asians. The least amount of people in prison are Asian, then whites, then browns, then blacks. Stop calling police racist. We're not racist. The criminal justice system is based on socioeconomics. You might want to get your facts straight. We're past that now. You're going to jail. You are going to jail. You hear me? You're going to jail. The goal of police is to arrest you, to put you into the system where the DAs, judges, clerks, cops, guards, everybody is getting paid from you being arrested. And let's not forget about the blood-sucking lawyers. A third of our tax dollars are spent on cops, cages, and their pensions. I'm rich, and my tax dollars are being paid to arrest you? A third of our tax dollars, did you hear me? A third. This is not better in our society. There's a cost-effective solution to this problem. Our country was founded on a system of checks and balances. It's much much cheaper to have a third-party observer record everything police do. The third-party observer would have to approve of you being arrested. Zach Wester, a cop in Florida, planted drugs on hundreds of people as he wore a body cam. When those being arrested tried to record him searching their car, they were denied their First Amendment right in the name of officer safety. We need a third party on the scene who has full access to follow the cops and record them. There's a Zach Wester in every town in America. Arresting people should be for one reason and one reason only. That person is either a a danger to themselves or society. BLM or Antifa is not a threat to your liberty. BLM and Antifa are not arresting you in front of your friends and family. Four out of five people should not be arrested. I voted for Trump because the left is loony. We need a third party agency if reform can ever happen. My co-producer wants to defund the police. I don't want to defund the police. I want to reallocate funds to the correct places. We need mental health care. We need job training. We need people to be taken care of, not arrested. Bottom line. Stop bitching about police. We are the last line of defense before the criminals come and kill you. I wanted to reform police because police are there to protect us. And then I find out. Gonzalez versus Castle Rock says that police don't have to protect you. It's not our job to protect you. In Gonzalez versus Castle Rock, what was determined was that police are law enforcement. We're not your protectors. There's a big difference. Another Supreme Court ruling that rules against the people? What do cops offer? We offer badges, cuffs, guns, and cages. That's it. If you want to ride to Dairy Queen, I got to put you in the cage to take you there. It's that simple. Here are the Supreme Court cases that would have to be overturned for us to reform police. It won't happen. No, yes, it will. You hear me yelling at Chili to get a Netflix deal. Little motherfucker. <laughs> you hear me yelling at that fuckwad Chili to get a Netflix deal. Get us a fucking Netflix deal, asshole! Chili! I thought we were a, a Netflix deal. The reason I want a Netflix deal is because of how much change that we can implement. Say it to me again and fucking mean it, Jeff. Tell me, do you really want to get a fucking Netflix deal on you? Yeah, tell me the line again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start here. I want to have a conversation with Netflix. Netflix, we have something to offer. Call me. I'm easy to find. I'm Jeff fucking Lloyd. This is why D-Law exists. It's time that we look at creating new organizations that are accountable to us, the people. It's time that we have a third party agency for the body cam. It's time that we stop profiting on prisons. It's time that we need a third party agency to approve of anybody being arrested. 
So I don't want to pay for people to be arrested and treated like their lives don't matter when they do. You know, the, the law has, has come against us. So let me tell you something. The only way that I see, the only way that I see is come along with D-Law. Take a little bit of power back at a time. Let's bring in a lawbreaker. Let's have somebody for us. Finally, I don't want to vote in lawmakers anymore. I want to vote in lawbreakers. I don't want to vote in another lawmaker. I want to vote in a lawbreaker. I'm not perfect. I'm a raging drunk that's certainly going to kill me. But before that, let's delete some laws. De defunding police is a is a is a bullshit term. It's about uh, mental health care. It's about community policing. It's about decency. It's about no handcuffs. Come on, man. You know we all know there's there's fucking criminals and they need to be like taken down hard. You know we know that. But you know the rest of us don't have to be 99% for the 1% problem. Come on, give me a fucking break. I'm pretty good with that, Jeff. You pretty good with that? No. Yeah. Show's over, folks, but the journey has just begun. Another dumb law that needs to be deleted is this one. The one you're thinking of where you live. No matter what state you live in. Or federally. You know of a dumb law that needs to be deleted? You do. This whole thing was created to get you to post the dumbest law that you know about. On DeleteLaws.com. Register for the site and post a dumb law and then join the conversation. We must change things and it starts with legislation. Legislation, that's where it starts. It's DeleteLaws with a Z. Dot com with a Z. With a Z. Delete Laws. A big Z.